guys, Swaggerjin here, and today I went with my dad to see Pankton 2. And I stopped by Walmart and picked up a few things, which you can see there. In case you're wondering if these, these actually, a few days ago, I picked these up from Kmart. Yep, unfortunately, my K local Kmart is closing, so they were having a bit of a sale. Let's just go through the items. First of all is this weird little plush Thomas. Normally, I wouldn't buy stuff like this, but since it was a Thomas, I, since it was a Thomas and act and the sale, well, the price tag does say five dollars. Well, four ninety nine. It with. With the sale, it was actually two dollars, so felt since it was there, well, since it was pretty cheap, well, I might as well pick it up. And it was the only thing that was in a blind bag mini, which I picked five of these up, which they are the earlier ones, uh, but since they were like eighty cents, well, the it do, I know it says like two one ninety nine, but uh, since they actually have um the price mainly it was sixty percent off like that Thomas over there. It, they were about eighty cents. So let me just open the first one. Let me just. So, let me just open it up. And it's an invisible Henry. I already have one, but since these were about were cheap, I might, since they were cheap, I thought I just to get it, pick one up. Actually, I don't know what's in these. So, yeah, let me just open the next one. I actually didn't know what was in these, but I just chose five random bags. So, let me just this one. And, oh, another duck. That's always nice to have. Well, this is my second duck. Oh, let me just get the third one. And a classic James, which actually with this duck, I'm actually going to swap the chassis from the James onto this duck to give him a more... To make... Because Duck has the gray wheels and the gray running board. So I might just swap James's chassis onto this duck. So I might do that. I might not. But anyway, let me just put that over there. Let me get the fourth one. Let me just open, open, open it up. Oh, another duck. Let me just put that there. And opening the last one. And another salty, which this is probably my fourth salty or maybe... Fifth or sixth. But anyway, let me just move that over there. Now on to the packaged minis. So let me just 
get this one. First off is a Pop Art Thomas, which I like the look of it. Uh, there's the number one. He has two different colored wheels. One set is yellow, the other set is blue. Next is a Rosie, a classic Rosie, which is my second model of it, which this Rosie of, uh, I might actually buy a cheap Rosie from eBay and just turn that into Rosie in her new livery, so, yep, next is Camo Birdie, I I kind of don't understand why they made Birdie in the minis range. Since Birdie's a road vehicle. But. Yeah, let me just put him there. Next, on to the next pack. Let me shut down. Oops. Let me, let me just get that. First is the Pop Art Percy. It has like an explosion look. One set of his wheels is like a Aqua color like Connor. His back set is like a dark blue, like Hank. Oh. Next is a Pop Art Annie. Which, with this, I might have treat it as like a normal box car. You know, if van. Well, a normal van. And, oh, and I, I like the different, like, color look. There, one set of wheels is yellow and the other set is red. There's the different coloring. And on the roof. It would have been nice if they had, like, the art style part of over the face. Well, just showing a little silhouette of the windows. And, and wait a minute, I think this is my version, but mine's missing a, its smile. I'm not sure all of them are like that, or if it's just mine. But I think I might actually have a factory error. So, oh, let me just put that there. Last but not least is my a uh, porter, which this is probably my third or fourth. Can't really remember. Oh, he has the lo look of porter like in the actual show. So, yep. Next is a. Is the third pack? Let me just. out. Mm. 
So here is Monkey Percy. Yep, he has little monkeys on him. And it, the wheels are yellow. And there's monkeys on top. Oh. Next is Fruit Charlie. Well, Charlie looks like a thing of grapes, which grapes are actually one of my favorite fruits, along with apples and watermelon, star fruit, and basically I have a lot of favorite fruits. Oh, um, next, last is this mini diesel, which this is probably my fourth diesel. I've gotten so yeah let me just put them there next is what next is let me just try it. next is the this thing just oh finally of uh, the pack Packaging on these minis is uh, newer. Yeah, I think it's a new. I well, I think the new packaging might be a new thing. Which I don't mind. It does look better than the old, in my opinion. So let me just get the others out. Next, it first it, of the minis is this Robo Toby, which this is my third or second, I can't really remember. So, he has little gears on him. I'm not sure all Robo Toby. Well, my other Robo Tobies aren't, on, but I think all they don't have this yellow block chassis part. If someone could tell me if they have that or not, that'd be helpful. So next is a Pop Art Thomas. Uh, oh nope, sorry, a Neon Splatter Thomas, which he has little lots of pound. There's an Aqua. Purple, green, pink, orange. So, there's also a little um, paint splatter details on his face. Which looks great. Mainly, mainly because of most time, most many times, like, face details, but it actually quite well, in all honesty, so next is Dragon well, Fancy Spencer basically Spencer is supposed to look like a dragon so yep, let me just put him there, onto the last Pack of minis. Put that there. Put this part off. First is a crayon. Well, back to school, James. Basically, James is supposed to look like a crayon, which. Actually, guys, this is actually an idea I thought of. Well, when I saw this, is for a minis line, like a new line of minis, why not a crayon pack? Yeah, but like James, Red, Thomas, Ed, Thomas, Edward, or Gordon, like for blue, Charlie for purple, Percy for green, and 
either Bill or Ben for yellow, which... Tell me if you like the idea in the comments of a crayon minis line. So, yeah, next is a Pop Art Hero, which here oh, does have two co different colored wheels. One is a orange and one is a blue. He has different paint splatters on like purple, pink, yellow, green, blue, and red. Oh, yep. Next is a classic Fernand. Well, this is my second classic Fernand. Which, in all honesty, guys, I'm the only person, well, one of, like, 5% of the Thomas fandom that actually likes the logging logos along with Charlie. Which, just putting it out there, guys. So, yep. Next is the seven packs. This is a bit hard. Let me just dig. Get them out. So, first is the classic Ben, which this is my second of classic Ben. I like the look of him, which I know actually do note that Bill and Ben have black wheels, but in all honesty, I kind of prefer the red, which, well, because I have a second set of Bill and Ben, well, second set of classic Bill and Ben, I might actually swap the wheels with black wheels. So, I might do that, I might not, but yep, next is a Robo Charlie. This is my fourth or third Robo Charlie, which he has little gears on him like a robot. So, yep. Next is Camouf Camouflage Stanley, which he's basically just covered in leaves. Oh. Yep, let me just put him there with the others. Next is a Pencil Troublesome Truck. Well, a back to school child's truck. Basically, in short, it's supposed to look like a pencil. So. Yep. So, let me just put them over there with the others. Next is the classic Thomas. Which, this is my 13th classic Thomas that I own. Ignore that, that's my dad's neighbor's dogs. Oh. Next is the classic gator, which... Oh, there's a bit of access plastic on gator's buffer beam. Let me just try getting that off. Yeah, close enough. This is my fourth gator. 
which he does look pretty cool. Yep, he looks like Gator in the actual show. Oh. Yep, next is a Pop Bar Diesel 10. Basically has little things of the fat controller on his sides. A little golden front. Next to Tom on the top. Oop. Yes, two different colored wheels, a pink wheel and a yellow wheel, so. Yep. Okay, let me just get on to the last pack of minis. The, the second seven pack. So. Let me just get the rest. Of the packaging off. Get the minis out. So, first is the mini Scarlowy, which it does look like Scarlowy, like how Scarlowy does in the actual show. And this, in case you wonder if my, this actually uh, is my fourth Scarlowy. So, Next is a pop art van. It has little things of train edges. Oh, mine has a tilted body. Uh, not sure if that's factory or not. Let me just fix that. Oh, the it's a bit loose. There, something on top of the roof, and no. Yeah, next is a camouflage Victor, which those look pretty cool. So yeah. So, next is a classic Emily, which this is my third. Nope, uh, my second Emily. Well, my second classic Emily. Uh, it looks just like Emily in the actual show. Oh. Yep, let me just move these over. So, next is a monkey Flynn, which there's the little thing of bananas, little lines basically to show that it looks like, to make it look like fur, uh, veins. Side with thin bananas and some vines. So, yeah, let me just get the next one, which this is a Robo Edward, which I'm not sure if this is my second or. Well, my second or third Robo Edward. I'm not sure. But I do like the detail on it, which. The detail of it shows the rivets. And, and 
the red wheels. Oh. Next is a classic hero, which this is probably my fifth or fourth hero. My fifth or four, fourth classic hero. Which. So. Yep, and again, I know I sound like a broken record, but the face part is a. But, uh, well, the smoke def on the smoke deflector, his nameplate's supposed to be on the smoke deflector, not his boiler. So, yep, let me just get on to the last thing, which is Lexi. Let me just get her open. So, for those who don't know, Lexi is a character from Journey Beyond Solar. And she is based on the cab forward facing and loco from um type of route. Let me just check see if the route thing it says N C B R which I don't know what that stand like N N B C stands for. I know the R part stands for railroad. Oh. Yeah, the reason I picked up Lexi was because Lexi's one of my f newer favorites. So, well, Lexi's one of my favorites from Journey Beyond Soul along with Theo. Well, Lexi's up there with my favorite characters along with Theo, Oliver, Murdoch, and Sir Handel. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, Lexi's real life counterpart actually was called the Freak. Yeah, mainly because it was pro well one of the earliest cab forward facing locos. So, can I say why is that? Well, actually, if Lexi's basis was built in 1901 and. Sadly, scrapped in 1905, so basically, her prototype only worked for four years. So, yeah. Ne next is the tender part, which has these little, like, drums on the top part. The little thing... I mean, I think Lexi is supposed to be an oil burner. I think that's what Lexi is supposed to be. So. Yeah. Next part is this truck, which. Let me just. Uh, which, this truck. It's not having a great chassis. And girls, I might actually. With this truck, probably paint the wheel. Might I might actually paint the undercarriage part black, but I might leave it the way it is. Oh, uh, um. yep. And Lexi comes with a scrapolo, which this is the same scrapolo. Well, I think it's the same scrapolo from the Scare James pack, which I did get two of those loads. Well, from two Scare James is that I got. Well, I have two of these loads, two of these loads. One load I kept the same, and the other I painted a rust. So. Yep. Well, Lexi's probably the, might be the only newer 
Trackmaster engine I might buy for a while. So, yep. She might be, she may not be. Well, the newer Trackmaster Young Bow is coming out, which I might just get that for the face for my custom Young Bow I'm making. Also, along with it is the Nia and, well, the Trackmaster Nia and the Thomas with Ace, which uh, I'll only get the Thomas and Young Bow. Well, Thomas will mean because I kind of want the. Ace to use on my age of scale layout and the young bow mostly for the face. So, oh, also from my Goodwill, which I did originally go Goodwill to try to find some Thomas stuff from a Goodwill, but unfortunately, I couldn't find so I found this tripod here for. Well, my dad found this tripod for around five bucks, which normally in real reality, well, real re reality, so I have some trouble with that word. These would cost about forty bucks, which hopefully, if I can get a new camera cord for my camera, maybe I will record a lot of stuff to get onto the computer. So, but this tripod I might actually use on my. Thomas series if I would ever get it running, so Yep. So this is Swangogen signing out.